I want to move on. I really do. But I've got another great question here from Pasta. Pasta. Sure. <laughs> do, you, do you think it's more helpful when it comes to job seeking to be a specialist or a generalist? In general, I would say that it's better to be a specialist in something. So when you're a specialist, you – and especially if, if, it's, if, if, if that specialization that you have is, a, is, a, is compatible with the work that you're applying for, right? I mean being, being a specialist in machine learning is perhaps not the most useful thing if you're going to do like graphics programming, right? <laughs> well, they, they're both on the GPU, so maybe. I don't know. Maybe that was a bad example. But you see my point, right? Like it's, it's all about like is, is the specialization you have a match for what they are looking for? Um, but – even though you are a specialist, I think it's, again, important to keep an open mind and to also know about other technologies as well. So, you know, if I take myself as an example, I would definitely say right now I am specializing on Swift, right? I'm specializing on iOS development, Mac development, like a development for Apple's platforms. But I'm also incredibly interested in always keeping up with what's going on in the Android ecosystem, what's going on with Kotlin, what's going on with other languages like Haskell or Rust. You know, I'm keeping up with those things because... The day might come when I don't want to do Swift anymore and I want to do something else and I don't want to just be there like I, I put all the all the eggs again in the Swift basket. Even though that's why I enjoy right now and I love Swift and I, I will probably keep doing it for many years, I don't want to just like be locked into one way of thinking or one platform or one language. I, I want to keep an open mind and I think that's would be my general recommendation. 